Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this new War Robots test server where we are going to be testing the new weapons um, for the robots out of the Aries with Halo, Corona, Overdrives, and Jump Unit. The Falcon with the new weapon Incinerator, Heavy Armor Kit, Advanced Repair Unit. The Elite just Scorcher, I almost said Scatter, Overdrive, Last Stand, and Phase Shift. The Pursuer with Scald, the Anti-Control, Battleborn, Last Stand, and um, Lockdown Ammo, and the Outjung with uh, Calamities, Overdrive, Last Stand, and Phase Shift. I've actually never used the Battleborn, so that'll probably be interesting. Um, I want to see how it does. But uh, yeah, these are the new weapons. They have 500 meters range. Um, they are, they sound like organs, but they are um, a long range weapon. I don't know why I'm lagging so much. And um, yeah, this is how they look. They look pretty cool. They, they're probably the coolest looking weapon in the game right now. And um, I'm just getting creep by the hot. But uh, to me, um, the medium and the light version aren't strong at all. The heavy version is. Um, but uh, you'll see this here with the leech how weak it is. Because um, it takes so long for like the bolts to travel. And even though they're like rockets, and like supposedly they're like combined with like flamethrowers too. Even though they're like that, they don't have any splash damage. It doesn't make sense to me. They have like a little bit, but you don't you don't notice it almost. And uh, when you try to hit someone at 500 meters, you get you still get um you still don't do any damage because you can't hit them. It takes too long for the bullets to travel, and um, you can't it's you don't have any splash to compensate for that. And on top of that, the medium and the light version, they underperform even when you do hit hit your shots. Um, the they do have a side effect to them. Um, the they have an explosion effect, kind of like a hell burner, only it's a self destruct against your your team. So when you shoot an enemy, it will light up like they're having overdrive, like my teammate right there. And then once you fill up like the bomb meter. It's kind of like um, a freezing effect. Once you fill that up, they, 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 you'll have to wait like one or two seconds and then they'll explode and they'll hurt all their teammates around them. And so I think that my battle's going already four out, so. Yeah, pretty useless module still. It's been in the game for how long and it's still not doing much. You see that bomb meter? That's uh, the meter that I was talking about. You see how little splash and how little damage this does. Um, I think that the bomb meter thing, it's um, it's a really good, I guess, um, ability to have on a weapon. But the weapons themselves aren't that strong. So I think that this concept of the explosion will be taken over into the real game with these weapons. And then they'll be made into microchips as well. So they will be able to be used on like a cryo or something with all the microchips. And um, that's how it'll be used basically. I don't think that the weapons are going to be that strong. Unless they get like a splash damage buff. I'm lagging so much. And um, I put lockdown ammo because it's really hard to hit. Scorpion activated the ability. And you could argue that on this um, pursuer I'm only running three light weapons. But even if I was running a blitz or something, it still wouldn't be that much. It would be barely anything better. So um but these weapons, don't get me wrong, they have a lot of potential. Um with the way that they fire, they fire rapidly like that. And like the explosion, they have a lot of potential, don't get me wrong. 
Um, just like a little tweak and that's it, they're the best weapon in the game. Um, they have that much potential. But that means that it's, uh, it's going to be so easy to, to make them overpowered, right? So, there's a problem with that. And, uh, I'm going to go down. These aren't brawling weapons, but, you know, I just wanted to get out of this robot. And this falcon... This falcon is actually really powerful. Um... You'll see it right here soon. But, look. So the heavy version is really strong. If you can hit your shots. It's really strong if you run, like, three times. The reason why I didn't run a behemoth is because it's, like, so bad. I probably won't be able to hit my four heavy weapons at any time. So I might as well run a falcon as more mobility as more resistance. Why not? So, um... Yeah, that's basically what I think about these weapons. And, um... This heavy version with the falcon is really strong. You can even brawl with it, that's how strong it is. This is what I, what I was talking about, about potential. And, um... Yeah, look how I take this guy down. I think that would be cool. Um, I think that a cool concept that they could add is that the explosion effect, like, bypass resistance, kind of like corrosion does. Or dot effect damage over time. I think that would be cool. And, um, I don't know why he's running that shell. That shell isn't very really good. getting shield help but like you see like when you run out of ammo your dps is so low even with the heavy weapon it took me like three shots to kill that guy who was at low health the um sonic weapons are way better at brawling and i'd say that um you know the scourge spark pulsar calamity Magneto, those are all better than um, these as of right now at long range. So um, I just think that the um, ability that the weapons have will just be dragged into the microchips and uh, and yeah, it would be used like that. But the weapons themselves, they won't really, I don't think that they'll be used unless if they get buffed. And um, this. The Falcon is really, it's actually really strong. Um, if you can catch them off guard with activating your fangs out, which a lot of times isn't the case because if they like focus you down, then uh, they'll most likely um, kill you because you don't have enough firepower even though you have more resistance than them. You won't be able to activate your ability because uh, you'll be getting shot at. And it's never good to activate your fangs out when that happens. But yeah, um, I'm actually going to jump into a game on my own account. And uh, I did this because the test server closed and I couldn't get any more footage. So I just decided to make my second game on my own account. Um, I turned the graphic settings lower because I was starting to lag a lot. Now I'm running smoother. But, uh, yeah, the gameplay won't look as good. Um, I hope that's okay. But, um, we took out that Blitz. And now we have this uh, Scorpion on us with Cloaking unit. And, um, the, the Legendary Pilot. I'm trying to shoot him, but, uh... I don't have very good aim at 300 meters with these weapons. And um, I'm actually getting a little aggressive. I noticed that he was jumping on me, so I tried to dash like rapidly to get away from him. Leave him in the dust, but uh, he's just uh, stronger than me. So there's not really anything I can do there. Now I'm going to jump in at spawn with the leech. I said that really weird. I see a leech so But um Yeah, if um this leech This leech could be a, a really strong robot if um 
I have the right conditions. But um, the leech is actually, it's beginning to be really not strong anymore. Um, this happens basically with all really, really good robots. Um, it happened with the Ares, it happened with the Spectre. Uh, people start running, you know, sniper weapons on them more and more. And then they just become not viable. The leech is starting to pass through that stage right now. Um, they had a good run, but I think that's starting to get really weak now. With um, all the new robots coming in, with the Typhon coming in, it's just, there's no place for it in the game anymore. It's still a strong robot, but um, yeah, I'm gonna plan on replacing it for something. Maybe I'll get a Typhon in a special delivery, I don't know. Hopefully I do. Speaking of that, um, I'm only 200 um, keys away from the, from the special opening. And from that special opening, I could get a Magneto, which, you know, that's my main goal. A Hornet or a Typhon. That's basically what it's going to be every time. The only prize I wouldn't want from that is the Hornet. If I get the Hornet, I'm going to be so upset. Because that's, there are two prizes that I want, and that's the only one that I don't want. And, um... So, I actually noticed a pattern, too. So, I watched, uh... Manny Gaming and Adrian Chong's uh, video on the box openings. And I saw that every time that they got Magnetar, it was on the right side. It started on the right side, and then when it shuffled it, it went to the left side. So that got me thinking, so, uh, does it follow that pattern all the time? Then it looked, and I noticed that it doesn't, but, um, I think that it does that most of the time, or a lot of the time. It follows that pattern. So I'm, I'm going to probably trust in, you know, the data that I've gathered on that and try to uh, get my best chances on getting that. I don't know if it's gonna work though. My teammate's trying to steal my kill. And I got it. And uh, yeah, we got aggressive. We got this beacon here. And then I spawn on it with my Titan. By spawning on it with my Titan, I dragged everyone on the other team here to this beacon uh, because they wanted to get it back. But my Arthur is, um, it's pretty tanky now. I'm getting those uh, modules and uh, I dragged all the team there then my my own team was able to get all the other beacons and uh, lock them down and then help me so it was just a uh, game over for the other team at that point if you get the base beacon it's uh it's pretty hard to come back but uh go looking at Papa Greg's um hanger he has a pretty solid hanger and, um, yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, like it and subscribe. Uh, do new things, rebellious things. Bye-bye.